everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the multiband 6 atomic time feature on the Casio G-Shock GWM5610 watch. This is module 3495 by Casio. This should work pretty much the same for any multiband 6 watch by Casio. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how you can look and see when was the last time the watch was able to set itself using the atomic feature. And then I'm going to show you how you can manually do this on the watch at any time you want to. There is a feature on this watch to have it automatically try and pull the time every night as long as you've got a home location that is eligible for the atomic time sync. The other thing is you have to be within 1900 miles of Fort Collins, Colorado, at least if you're in the United States uh, like me and you're trying to use this feature. First, let's look at when the last time was this watch successfully got a time reception. If you press the bottom right button while you're in your timekeeping mode, it will show you the last successful receive. So in my case, it says 814, so August 14th at 107 a.m. was the last time this watch set itself using the atomic time feature. Now, I'm gonna press the bottom right button again, it takes me back to my main watch face. What if I wanted to try and do it now? Let's say I know my time is off or something like that. I wanna try and pull the atomic uh, signal. If you press and hold, the bottom right button this will activate the atomic time feature you'll notice up at the top there is a blinking receive uh, indicator and it's basically showing that it's trying to do it if you look at the bottom right it'll also show you your signal strength level three is going to be the highest signal level one is going to be the lowest signal it takes a while for it to show the signal strength of this watch i'm not real sure why my other watches it does it automatically but for this one, for whatever reason, see, you can see it there. It just kind of blinks occasionally. Again, we're probably not going to be successful because I'm sitting indoors. I'm not near a window and it's daytime. And we can see that it errored out. In the event that it was successful, instead of seeing this error message, what you would see is an updated date and an updated time showing you that your watch successfully set the time. What I would do in this case is I would move to a different location. Again, press and hold the bottom right button and try and do the sync as many times as you want to to try and be successful. If you're totally done, you can simply press the bottom right button. Oh, yeah, one time. And it'll take you back to your main timekeeping. You could have also pressed the mode button. It would take you back to your main timekeeping. Anyway, that is how you look and see when the last time was that you successfully got a uh, sync of time. And that is how you manually do a sync if you want to on the module 3495 watch. I hope the video helps.